soldiers with eight forward surgical team, alongside Marines assigned to Marine Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron, BMM-363, participate in a field training exercise. They treated simulated patients and transported them via an MV-22 Osprey from Schofield Barracks to Tripler Army Medical Center. We are conducting Kazovac drills or cherry picker drills with eight FRSB. Uh, it benefits us through joint training, uh, so coordinating with, with the Army and their agencies, as well as interoperability to make sure that they can operate with us and us with them. The pilots are involved with the crew chiefs. We're connected over an ICS or uh, inter communication system, so we're talking to each other and the crew chiefs kind of tell the pilots what's going on, what, what is happening in the back of the aircraft medical personnel to, to get the, the cabin set up correctly for, uh, we call it stanchions and litters, so the, the, the way we would load litter-borne patients into the aircraft. Today's exercise goes to show how, you know, working side by side with the Marines that have part of the puzzle, our forward surgical teams that have the other part of the puzzle, and then our Rule 4 facility or here being Tripler, uh, we fill that last part of that patient transport platform. They were simulating point of care injury, so they were soldiers that were in the field that had gone through some pretty traumatic experiences. The forward surgical team went and patched up and did their piece of the puzzle to stabilize them enough to transport on the Osprey, and the Osprey brought them here to the helipad. Specifically, we chose to use the Osprey because it's the Ospreys are an incredibly fast type of aircraft. So if you have a casualty who has experienced trauma and is degrading, you can quickly get them from any role of care to a higher level of care with an Osprey because it moves so fast. Exercises like this enable all services to prepare for any contingencies, including assisting the community during natural disasters.